My name is Roger Crumble from uh, Idaho State University. I play wide receiver. Uh, it means a lot. Um, it's just the nomination, so I'm, I'm hoping to receive the award, and that, that will mean even more. But uh, I'm just looking forward to playing and uh, getting the opportunity to do that. But it means a lot right now. It's just an expectation that I must meet. Just uh, I'm trying to do what they've done because they've done a lot of great things, and then I'm trying to do more in my own way, and that's just me. But yeah, I, it's, it's weird now more than ever. Like um, people are like at the bank and things like that. They'll tell me stuff. I'm like, man, I've had this name for a long time, and nobody's ever talked about it this much. And it's it's kind of funny, but then it's like I wonder how my dad dealt with it too. Cause my dad has a good name too. Um, individually, I had uh, I had a one-handed grab against Montana. It was pretty pretty nice. Uh, we had a um, <laughs> that's about the only one I can think of right now. We had uh, Washington State for 65 yards on the screen, and then uh, we had Portland State over the middle for like 50, 50 yards when we were down 14. Yeah, and those are those are probably the top plays I've had. No, we have a ramp to get down on the field from our pregame, uh, like, you know, like from our locker room to the field. And uh, one of our kickers, he thought he was the coolest dude. He was walking down and backwards, and he slipped and slid, like, for 20 yards and couldn't catch himself. It's like he's going down a hill. Well, I'm in Idaho, so I, I like fishing. I like the outdoors. Um, I like to play other sports. I like basketball. I love basketball. And I play, I do track at ISU too. Idaho, Idaho is a good state for people that like the outdoors and enjoy, enjoy open spaces <laughs> and uh, doing things with families out on like a lake or a river. My advice for becoming a good receiver would be just if I have any, <laughs> if I have any credibility in this, because I don't know if I made it there yet, but is to is to find a niche and then stay stick with your niche and get better at that, become better at that than anybody else. And that's what I hope to do and if I could give any advice that would be it. My mentality when getting to the line of scrimmage is uh nobody can guard me regardless of where we're at, who we're playing, it's just I feel that if the ball is in the air and it's in my general direction that, that I can get it without a problem. You know, it's, it's, in, the, it's in the air, it's my rock. Uh, well, my first thought is thank you, Jesus. <laughs> you know, because, you know, a lot of people don't make it. Touchdowns are hard to come by in any, in any league, in any level. So uh, I just get excited. And I just say thank you, Jesus, and, and I hope to get another one. I hope to be back here. That's it. <laughs> I act like I've been there every time I've been there. You know, I don't celebrate as much, but I, I'm I'm blessed. Oh, I thought David David was a good player. Well, he was a great player. He uh, he did a lot of things for our team that you know nobody else could do. Uh, I was I was born into a military family, so I was born in Japan. <laughs> And um, my mom and dad, they moved here back to the States when I was around one. My sister went to middle school out there, and I've been in Whitby Island. I live in a big island in Washington, and that's, you know, that's unique to some people. Oh, yeah, of course. Uh, uh, the temptation for me is sweets after hours. Uh, last night, I went to the gas station with my uh, the running back from the team. We, uh, <laughs> we went and bought, like, $6 worth of Reese's. At two o'clock in the morning, riding our skateboards down there, it was, you know, it's a bad habit. And we go to sleep really late, so. You know, but it's summertime, though, so. Yeah, one of my coaches, uh, Coach Anthony Tucker, he's a new receivers coach here. He, uh, I look up to him a lot. He, uh, he played in the league a little bit, but he's also just a good person, and he really cares about all the receivers and the direction that the team is going and just watching him live by example. He's been a really good person to look up to. Um, in preparation, I just got to keep keep working hard, keep motoring through it, and then uh, also get better every day. Like that's what I think about when I'm in the weight room. I'm running. I'm like, you're not doing it for no reason. Don't just get through it. Get better. And that's that's really how I think about it. I want to get better at something every day. Well,
day you wake up of a game, it's like a it's a different feeling in your body. You just gotta get ready mentally and physically. And uh, sometimes it's hard to eat. I mean, I like to scrub down before a game. I like to eat a lot. But uh, I uh, I usually stay at home as long as possible. Go to the walkthrough, come home, relax for a long for as long as possible. Watch other games. Uh, relax with my family, and then then get to the field. Maybe about 45 minutes before I have to be on the field. And so, like, you know, unlike other people, they'll be at the stadium for, like, three hours before the game. I'll get there about 45 minutes before kickoff, and <laughs> then I'll, I'll get going from there. Like, I, I don't like being at the field thinking about the game too much because it, it'll just wear you down before you even get out there. My name is Roger Brumble, and I'm on the 2012 Wide Receiver Awards watch list. And um, I'm really excited about this upcoming season, make plays, and it'll be an exciting year in college football. We got a good team, and we're looking to do big things.